Hi everybody. So I thought I'd create a little screen recording with some uh, voiceover for you to show you basically how to manipulate some of the images using the um, Image Lab uh, software. <clears throat> so choose one of the images that I designated. I've got here Felix.scn. Um, That's we'll open that now with the uh, Image Lab software. Maximize the image to make it nice and clear for you to actually see. Now choose one of the ones that you think is the best to analyze. I quite like the look of this one in the middle here, although the ladder's nicer on that one. There's a little mark there that uh, goes across some of the data. So always choose one where you can see your best, best possible data. So that's very nice and this one's very nice. So I think probably uh, overall we'll, we'll go for this one as it's got a nicer, uh, a brighter band there. So the first thing to do is to actually uh, crop. So you're going to choose that particular part of the uh, image. So you go to Image Tools and you choose the option Crop. Now move the cursors so that it encompasses the data that you wish to um, incorporate. In this case, it's the um, all the ladder and the two images there. And when you've got your as much as you want to crop, right click and choose the option Crop. And your image will be um, cropped down to that level. You can see that it's actually we're on a slight angle here when we actually took the picture. So you can actually custom rotate that if you would, if you would, if you like to make it so that it's a nice straight image. So you choose custom rotate, move the an arrow so it's pointing in the direction that you require to rotate, and then press the button, and away we go. We've actually rotated the image. You'll notice now that we've got some black edges around. You wouldn't want that to be included in any analysis. So again, you can crop this image once more to um, and make sure that you've basically just got the data on that you wish to um, analyze. Uh, same procedure as before, uh, right click and crop when you're happy with the image. Now <clears throat> go back to the, um, the starting menu of all the different options. In this case, as we have quite a nice gel here with some nice clear bright bands etc and well-defined lanes, you can actually choose the auto analysis option. As you can see there, it says automatically detect lane and bands and calculate molecular weight. So if you click that button now <coughs> and choose, since the, bright, since the bands are actually quite bright, you can choose the low, better for more prominent band setting. Don't bother choosing a molecular weight analysis at the moment. Just leave that blank at the immediate moment. And then press OK. And good, you've got your nice three lanes there, as you can see. And it's detected all of the bands accurately. So band there, band there, and band there. <clears throat> Personally, what I like to do now is then I like to um, choose my options as to how I wish to interpret this data. So I hide all of the annotations and choose the specific ones I want to keep, which in this case is the molecular weight met, um, legend, which we haven't added yet, but I wish that to be shown, and the band attributes. So the band attributes will be all of these that we basically detect. At the moment, it's only showing one lane because we only have select lane only, selected lane only, which is that one. But if we put all lanes, it will give an indication that it's now going to determine the weights for all of these um, various bands. And we change from band number to molecular weight. At the moment, it says NA for not available because we haven't as yet chosen our standard, which will be this one. And then you press OK. Now you can go to the molecular weight analysis. <clears throat> in this situation, you want to put your standard lane, you want to choose your standard lane, and you want it to be this one, because that's where your standards are, lane 1. And you put, do you want to redetect existing bands? You can put yes for that. And, uh, you have a problem here now because we have this that we've basically got, which is the wrong ladder. So we have to add a custom ladder. How you do that? is you basically um, open, as I just showed you, press the change button, and you go to this, uh, the menu where you can manage the standards, and you press new. And to this, you can now add your own um, standards. Unfortunately, you can't do this on the university um, computers, as it will not retain the um, standards in the uh, hard drive, or on, the, on the network drive. But if you download your own version of this, you can do this. So I'll show you how to add it now. As you can see, I've named the um, standard that we want to use, which is Hyperladder 1. 
And this is actually the bands that we wish to add. So if we put that there now, we can basically add um, our bands um, so we know um, what we are wanting to put in as the sizes. So the first one we put is uh, we'll put add. We look for the first band and it's 10,037 base pairs. So we put in 10,037. Um, we put OK, and that's our first band that's been first lane that's been added. Sorry, our first band that's been added. We then add the next band. We have a look. It's eight thousand, and so we add that, and then basically carry on adding the other bands until we have um, finished the entire um, set that's required in this standard. So I'll just do that and bear with me whilst I fill this in. And at last, we're at the final band, the 200 base pair band. As you can see now, the um, markers have been added. All of them. There are 14 in total. So once you've actually done that, change this obviously from protein to a nucleic acid, because that's what you want, and the units to be base pairs. And then, OK. So you've now added your um, standard. Once you do that, click there, which will now allow it to be used to determine the weights of these and press OK. Do you want to redetect existing standard lanes? And the answer is yes. And there we go. We have our nice standards there that have now been added uh, and correctly interpreted. You can zoom in a little bit if you want to uh, actually have a look at um, that in a bit more detail. <clears throat> and then we'll go back here to the uh, attributes. We don't want to um, show the bands because we know where those are. So if you click that, you've now got that. <coughs> At this point, I would leave the um, all lane selection uh, on for the base pair attributes, just so you can make a note as to the size of the band as determined by the software, the bands that you're interested in. Go back to the um, initial analysis, and there you go. You can see this is it's, it's labeled quite nicely. Click on that band, and as you can see, if we if we zoom in, we can um, basically uh, zoom into that band, and if we have a look, we can see that it's um, just about, see? And it's 2,774, which is what the um, software has determined as the size of the band, which is pretty accurate, really, if you remember that the linearized molecule was approximately 2,700. So that's quite, quite an accurate estimation using the software analysis package. You don't want to produce your actual figure with these red indications on. So when you're presenting a figure, you want to have your data so it's as clear as uh, possible to see. So once you've actually made a note of the size of that band, then the thing you want to um, basically, sorry, the size of all three bands, the band in there and those two bands there, um, make a recording of all of those in your notes ready to add to the figure legend. Excuse me. <clears throat> what you actually require to do then is to get rid of that um, um, those indications. So where it says show band attributes, click that and get rid of it. <clears throat> so you can see you have a nice clear image now for you to actually um, publish. You may also consider at this stage the fact that you actually have now, even though you've now used this molecular markers to nicely determine the size of your bands, whether you actually wish to produce the entire image. In certain circumstances, you could now crop that down to just show um, the particular part that you will be interested in. Say this, this, image, this area from there, say around there as a box there like that. 
knowing what these labels are. But in this case, we'll keep everything actually um, as it is because it's uh, quite nicely labeled like that. So press OK. Now this image will be all right. You could have a look if you wanted to try and um, darken it or lighten it a little bit just to see like um, whether you can improve the image. As you can see, that's actually quite nice. If you do that, it looks a bit brighter, uh, the, the particular data you're interested in. So that's quite nice. You can alter that. <coughs> right, keep that uh, image. Finally, what you want to do then is you want to basically, you can either take a screenshot of that image. If you take a screenshot, it will put the entire image and you can add it to the clipboard or you can save it to a file. If you save it to a file, um, give it um, a name, for example, um, original name, and you will get your nice little image and you can have an up, you can open that up and there you are, you have your image with the marks there on the side as to what the actual size of the bands uh, are. However, there's notice that there's no actual label there, so you would have to add the label. <coughs> Another option you can try and do if you require is you can actually um, export the image. So you can go File and you can go Export for Publication. So Export for Publication and again choose a nice um, image size, that's fine. You want the entire image in this case and you press Export and again it will give the, the name for you. I will replace the one that we've created before and there we go. And open we have this nice um, larger image in this case and we can zoom out. Again you can see that it does not contain the molecular weight markers on the side so you'd have to you would have to add those manually. <clears throat> so once you've actually done that your uh, image is basically ready to incorporate. So you could use this image if you required. If you were going to do that like I say you can actually crop this down. So you could crop that like so in this respect. Go to crop. <clears throat> and that is fine. You can remember which bands that remember which bands those were from your actual um, analysis using the image lab software. <clears throat> so you could look back to which bands those were for when you do your actual um, annotation. And you have a nice smaller figure to actually produce. Okay, I hope this has been reasonably uh, helpful. If you have any more questions, please post them on the discussion board.